The two last blog posts that I posted on a career website went something like this. One was talking about the abilities that you have as a realtor that go beyond selling. It's great if you can sell. If you're that type A personality that has that sales know-how and you can just make a product or a service shine to the customers, that is a great asset to have. But it is not the only asset required to become a successful real estate um, or realtor in this business. There, there's just so many other things that we need to grow and to continue to learn, myself included. Those of us who have been in the business for years need to continue to learn how to use the other business skill sets. And if we don't have them, then we got to learn to delegate them. We got to learn to find people who have the strengths where we have the weaknesses. We need to find what we do well and do it very well and keep learning how to do it better but we have to have that self-awareness to know what are we doing that we do awesomely and then keep doing that. What are we weak in and find somebody or something or a program or software that does it well for us. That is how we're going to grow our business and take it to new levels and be able to have a successful strategy to not only grow our um, how many homes we sell or our gross volume, but to grow our business and become a good, lasting, strong business, whether the market's up or the market's down. So it's not just selling, but the other thing that relies just on you, which was the second blog I wrote, the one I wrote last week, talks about mindset. Now, tonight is the championship game of the NCAA tournament for 2017 versus North Carolina and Gonzaga. Kentucky's not in it. It's very saddening for me. But I want you to know that even though I went through the Monday hangover last week after Kentucky's loss to the Tar Heels, it reminded me of the fact of how much your mood and mindset affect your business and your success in what you do in real estate, what you do in anywhere. But in real estate, man, because of our interactions with consumers and we are trying to help the public, we are trying to help buyers and sellers with their dreams and with the largest financial decision of their lives, our mindset and our mood and our body language, everything is reflective to them and it's going to affect the people that we work with, other agents even, our broker, um, people we have in our network, in our sphere, our vendors, how we come across, where our mindset is, what our mood is for that day. And I'm not saying you can't have bad days. We all have bad days. What I'm saying is the consistent mindset has to be that of one of, of multiple factors, actually. I mean, you, you, it's not just being in a good mood. It's being positive and confident about who you are as a real estate agent. It's being... Um, you don't need the motivation to do well. You have the passion inside of you because you're doing something that you love. If you are, do not love this industry, you don't like your career, you don't love your career, you don't love what you do, that you have to find a reason to be doing what you're doing, then maybe you're doing the wrong thing. Maybe you need to find where your passion lies so that you can then grow a business and be successful in whatever that thing is. You have to know and be self-aware not only of your strengths, but that you're doing what you love. That is the only way to build lasting legacy type success in our career. You have to have a mindset and a mood of, I am doing this because I love it. I am doing this to help people. I have goals and I don't need anybody to motivate me. I am motivated out of the fact that this is what I'm passionate about. And it's not just about money and it's not just about fame and fortune. It's about doing something that you love, building something that you're good at, and being able to grow constantly, constantly learning, constantly growing, constantly getting better at your craft so that for the reason, not for your own self, but for others, because the way in real estate that you're successful is that everything that you do to grow yourself is affecting them having a better transaction, a better 
purchase opportunity, a better, um, quicker sale on their home, working with people and them, and they are going to build a reputation for you and your business. The better you work with them, the more your reputation grows, the more your referral base grows, the more customers and clients you get to work with and that you get put in front of because everybody funnels and wants to work with you. That is the goal. That is how you're going to grow your business. And you need to be aligned with similar mindsets, similar, um, that don't have to do everything the same way as you, but they need to think the same way as you. Your company, your broker needs to think the same way as you of how you need to portray and be in your business and in your real estate success. And that's the main thing. It doesn't, it's not just about selling homes and it's not just about being in a good mood. It's about having the right mindset and passion and goal orientation and having the other business building skills besides selling, including, but be, and in addition to selling, that's a better way of saying it, and if you're weak in an area, being able to double down on your strength, find out how to solve the weakness, whether that's a person, whether that's a program or a system, and grow from there.